I used to be crazy I know I used to be fun You say I used to be wild I say I used to be young You tell me time has done changed me That's fine, I've had a good run I know I used to be crazy That's cause I used to be young doesn't matter if you're a street musician, DJ, event organizer, or just somebody who likes a good party outside in the woods by the beach, this Everse 8 portable loudspeaker could be what you're looking for. It's pretty tough, doesn't mind a little rain. Oh, and did I mention that it runs on a battery for like up to 12 hours? Let's just check it out. Full disclaimer, this speaker was sent over by Maja Trio for a review. However, as usual, we do reserve our right to an unbiased opinion. Of course, after watching this video, if you feel like it's a good fit for your needs, feel free to check out the links in the description or head on over to any of these official retailers to try one and pick one up for yourself. So the Everse 8 is priced at 3,999 ringgit and comes in two colors, black or white, in a mostly plastic chassis that is textured along with a powder-coated steel grill. The plastic used here is polypropylene, a lightweight and durable plastic that is also fairly weather resistant except towards prolonged UV exposure, so you might want to keep it out of the sun when not in use. Still, it comes with a weatherproof cover for the control panel and I.O. ports, which gives this speaker an IP43 rating, so it should withstand a little bit of rain. Also, remember to keep the swappable battery plugged in because water can get in through the empty slot. The speaker itself weighs 7.6 kilograms or 16.8 pounds, and is quite portable, especially with that chunky rubberized grip. The overall design is very functional, in line with Electro Voices brand, with easy access for repairs, especially with that removable battery because we all know that lithium-ion batteries tend to degrade after a few years. They even added self-discharge protection for that battery for those slower months where you might have the unit sitting somewhere in storage. Overall, this feels like an absolute unit. Taking a look at the back, you'll see the control panel with the I.O. ports. You get a digital screen, a single quick smart DPS knob, two XLR and TRS combo inputs. Input 1 has phantom power for condenser microphones, which is pretty interesting for a speaker like this. And input 2 is high z for guitars. You also get a stereo input 3 for your device like your phone or laptop, a mix out to go into a mixer, a recorder, or even to connect to another speaker for a wired a stereo setup, a foot switch port, a USB-C port for charging your device, a 3-pin power socket right here, and finally a 12-volt DC power output to connect to your wireless mic receiver. Now being a portable speaker, we also get Bluetooth, just hold input 3 for like 3 seconds to enter pairing mode. You can even link up to two of these speakers wirelessly that can be routed to either left or right channels. Honestly, because of how feature packed that Dynacord digital mixer is. I'm talking about a three band EQ with 30 different effects and five presets. I found myself wanting more physical controls so I wouldn't have to flip through the input for each inputs uh, one by one, which is why I mostly adjusted settings via the uh, EV Quick Smart mobile app that is available for both Apple and Android devices. In terms of battery life, we get an 86.4 watt hour lithium ion battery that is rated for 12 plus hours at moderate output and 6 plus hours if you crank it to the max. Our tests pretty much verified that we got about 12 hours and 8 minutes of Spotify playback at medium volume. Very impressive. Under the grill, we get an 8-inch woofer for lower frequencies and a 1-inch titanium dome for highs. These are rated with a frequency response of 60Hz to 20kHz and a max sound pressure of 121 decibels at 1 meter. In actual use, the Everse 8 gets loud. I barely had it past 50% in our office before we started getting some noise complaints from the neighbors. The overall sound signature is pretty balanced with no weird peaks that give a lot of PA speakers that annoying harsh sound. Mid frequencies are easily the strongest part of these speakers. Vocals sound warm and clear, except when it gets a little muddied up by mid bass bloat from that surprisingly powerful bass. It gets better as you move further away, so I chalk it up to proximity effect. 
Treble is decent and smooth, though it's not the most detailed. I often find myself dialing up the treble a little, depending on what I'm doing to help the sound cut through a little better, if it makes sense. It's not the most resolved, but I must say that the audio quality from the Everse 8 did impress me the more I listened to it. It's very good for a portable workhorse like this, especially considering the rest of the feature set. Also, music is the default setting that each of the input comes in. Uh, if you're in a smaller space, however, you might want to switch it up to live, which sounds a little flatter in terms of the EQ. Along with a coverage angle of 100 degrees, both horizontally and vertically, this speaker is very versatile. You can stick it on a stand with that tripod mount at the bottom, lay it horizontally uh, as a stage monitor, or kick it back when you want to take it to the streets. However, like most speakers with this design, it does have a hot spot near the middle where the volume is noticeably louder. So here's a quick look at my settings for doing song covers. I have my vocals on input one with this wireless mic, uh, paired with a backing track playing via Bluetooth from my phone. I added some compression to limit some of the dynamics of my singing, and also increased the treble a little uh, to add some air to my voice. Along with the ducker, which will reduce the level of the other inputs, in our case, the backing track from input three, it could also be your guitar from input two, and our vocals will sit nicely on top and sound a little bit more forward. Lastly, I added some echo and reverb short, uh, which was the default effect. I do like the sound of this more than some of the others, but feel free to experiment. So here's how it all sounds like. The truth is bulletproof, there's no fool in you, I don't dress the same. Me and who you say I was yesterday have gone our separate ways. Left my living fast somewhere in the past, cause that's for chasing cars. Turns out open bars lead to broken hearts and going way too far I know I used to be crazy I know I used to be fun You say I used to be wild I say I used to be young You tell me time has done changed me That's fine, I've had a good run I know I used to be crazy it's cause I used to be your the speaker comes with a bunch of accessories and these are the ones that I recommend getting. Firstly, you get the attachable tray uh, that comes in two parts and locks in via four thumb screws to secure a mixer or in my opinion, more usefully, a wireless mic system like this. I recommend getting a short XLR cable like this to keep the entire system neat and portable. This can be powered by the speaker itself via a power cable that is actually provided with the tray. For those who want to run this speaker, for more than 12 hours for whatever reason without access to power to charge it back up, I feel free to also pick up an additional battery. And finally, to lug everything around, we have the Everse 8 Tote. You can even keep the tray attached, but it won't close if you mount the mic receiver on top. It is nicely padded with a shoulder strap and carry handles, as well as plenty of compartments to store accessories like uh, power and XLR cables and also microphones. Okay, so while I was testing this speaker out, I did find some quirks and also workarounds. While you can pair two of these speakers together in stereo mode wirelessly via Bluetooth, if you have a mic plugged into one speaker, the audio will not play on the other speaker by default. A workaround is by connecting them via the cable like I mentioned just now, which could limit the distance between the speakers. Or alternatively, as a quick hack, you can get two of those wireless mic receivers set them to the same channels so that you receive audio from the same microphone and that will pretty much cover most use cases unless you're out of range of course. The other quirk would be this cover that fits very snug but it's still relatively easy to remove though I do wish that it was on a hinge of some sort so I don't risk like losing it when I take it out and you know drop it somewhere uh, but you can always just chuck it into your bag. No big deal but just buy the tote like I said. As a recap, here are the pros, nicks, and cons of the Everse 8 portable loudspeaker.
I give this speaker a hashtag cheap buy, can stand up, can stand down, can kick back with good sound, 8.5 out of 10. At 4,000 ringgit, this is not the cheapest portable loudspeaker you can get. But given its weatherized chassis, solid audio quality, long AF battery life, and versatile digital mixer, I think it's well worth its price for any musician, DJ, or event organizer who's looking for a workhorse that keeps on giving. Okay lah, you need to be starting to make some good money before you consider making an investment like this, or alternatively, perhaps just have extremely supportive parents. Anyways, that is everything I have to say about the Everse 8 Portable Weatherized Loudspeaker. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like and share, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding this speaker and if you're interested to pick one up for yourself again go check it out in any of these authorized dealers stores uh, there's even a larger Everse 12 coming soon so you might want to check that out as well again my name is Bang Sawan Shane and I will see you in the next one ah, say something ah. say something I'm not giving up on you